Hey guys, this is RLC321 back again with a, a kind of an update on the original series Enterprise model kit build. This is part of it, so it's, it's all going to be shown, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But first of all, I want to thank somebody. I want to thank one of my subscribers. Um, her name is... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if she wants me to say say who she is or anything like that so I'd probably best to be on the safe side and say no but she knows who she is I want to say thank you very much for sending the the part yours is in the in the post um the other one the, the your replacement is on its way and thank you for sending me yours so I've now got a fresh new part to start again with Yep, so that's that's going to be awesome sauce. So again, thank you very much for that. I really, really do appreciate it. Now, the reason I'm doing this video... <clears throat> uh, something just arrived in the post today, which I'm actually... I got it. Stay. Which I'm actually quite pleased about. Da -da. Flashing circuit boards. Yes. Now... <clears throat> I'm hoping to use uh, this flashing circuit board on the original series Enterprise. It's a very basic one. I mean, it only cost me two quid each. So that's £3.48, you know, for two of these. Um, it looks relatively simple and easy to put together. And I thought I'd go through and show you what's, what you get in these in this kit. Um... The only thing I'm not too sure is what kind of flashing it is. Is it like a side-to-side -side flashing? I don't know the speed of it or, or anything like that yet because I'm, I'm, well, I just don't know. And I haven't got a breadboard to test these things on. So I'm just going to take everything out. So we've got uh, resistors. We've got two of this type, two of this type. Yeah, there we go. I have to figure out which ones these are because I really don't know. We've got two 5mm <coughs> LEDs. Again, I don't know what they are yet. So uh, I think they're, they're just going to be white, I think. Do um, you know what? We could do a very quick test. See what kind of blobs these are. La -de -de -de. So let's open open up those legs. Shush. Just stop it. Jeez. Ah, right, they're blue. That one's blue. And this one is also blue. Okay, so they they be blue LEDs. <coughs> we have our capacitors here, which I believe are ten microfarads. Is, I think that's the word for them and how you use it if you look on the side there the shorter leg is your negative and your positive is here okay that's how that works we've got two of those for the two LEDs we also got these capacitors which are C331s you can barely see that there, there you go. They have three legs. Don't ask, I have no idea. I don't even know how to solder this in, in together yet. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look it up online. And then obviously here is your circuit board. Now what's good about this circuit board? Okay, let me get a pointy stick. Uh, this one here. Okay. What's good about this circuit board? These are your LEDs. That's where they go. These are where the two five ten resistors go and the thirty three k resistors go. <clears throat> the capacitors go in here. You've got a plus there, so the negative will go in there, and same that way. This is where the those three legged chips will go. You bear in mind how it looks. So the flat side goes this way, then that goes over there. <laughs> oh, excuse me, please. Gee whiz. <clears throat> and this is here where your power goes this is your ground okay and this is your power right 
it's relatively easy to put together. Um, but I want to go through basically how to do it anyway, just so you can see for yourself and we can see what it's like. Now with regards to these, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to put the LEDs in there. I'm going to run wires into it and then just tie up the LEDs onto it. It's using 510 resistors for the LEDs. We've got the 33K resistors for the trans uh, capacitors. But it's the 510 resistors that are for the LEDs. Okay. I don't know if that means anything or, or anything like that. Because I, I don't know Ohm's Law or, or anything like that. But it's a relatively small circuit board. I mean, let's get, get you up nice and close and personal to it. There you go, so you can see it clearly. Okay. There we go. So, that's a, a circuit board. And obviously, I've, I've got two of them. I might not need two of them, because the, the idea is that the plan, this is the plan. The top and the bottom saucer section, they flash simultaneously. The, the navigation lights are on the top and underneath. Okay, they flash at the same time. So that's going to go on one. All of those LEDs are going to go on the one. Okay. This other one, if that's flashing at a different time, I can use that to use on the the back saucer section where you've got the flashing light at the bottom. I don't think there's any flashing lights on the nacelles. Um, <clears throat> but I can use that for that. Which is possible. Or use the, the coloured ones here and the, the white ones, which are going to be on the, the bottom of the saucer and at the back. On the bottom at the back. Um, to light that up. Coloured one there. The white ones on that one. But I think the, the white and the coloured flash at the same time on the saucer. So I'm going to have to use that. The one. Again, this is why I bought two of these. Just in, just in case that I, I, I need to. <laughs> Oh dear, this is the first time me doing anything like this, so you're going to have to bear with me. So that's this is the plan, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go through how to put these together. <clears throat> Again, it's my first time doing this. Okay, and so I'm going to just devote um, a whole video on trying to do this. Alright then. So, I'm going to bring you guys back in a minute once I've got my solder soldering iron on I've got my helping hands ready I've got everything ready that I need and I will see you guys in a minute take care of yourselves no don't take care of yourselves I'll just see you in a minute okay guys right so I've pretty much got everything ready ish <laughs> oh god I'm nervous as hell um as I say because I've never ever done anything like this this uh, uh, <laughs> I can't even do words god I, I, need, I need a vape hang on Right, so, just so you know, because <clears throat> we've got two different resistors here, I had a look online to find out which is which. Okay, these are the 510 resistors. Okay, these ones are the 33K resistors all right okay <clears throat> okay so i think first things first we're going to put the positive and negative into here first so as i said the positive goes on the way it says vcc the negative goes on the ground which is this post here now obviously it's going to be reversed when you look at it this side okay these are all connected so we only need to solder where things are coming through right right good okay so we've got to remember that's going to be your positive and that side's going to be your negative so whenever you look at things on like this side always remember that so first off let's do the usual of exposing some wire a bit off there and a bit off there oh I cut my bloody nails didn't I, I forgot about that gee whiz God's sake. Come on, there we go. Yes. Give it a 
some of that there. And we do the same on this side. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra this side, just because, um, well, just because. Okay, so that's that one. Balls. And I just dropped it on the floor, of course I did. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the same with then this is gonna be a negative wire. So I just want a little bit of showing through here. Pull that off. Okay, that one. Oh. And we'll do the same with this one. Again, I want a little bit extra on this side. This is just going to be going on to uh, LED, but it's this small bit that I'm going to be putting inside of the thing. So we want to twist our wires. <coughs> Excuse me. Think a bit going on the LED. Small bit going here. Now, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't have a breadboard. Ideally, you would have a breadboard that you can plug these in and test it all out. I don't have that luxury. <laughs> I really don't have that luxury. Um, <clears throat> I have bought uh, a couple of other boards from China, which is going to take quite a while to get here, um, where I can actually change the timing with a, the little uh, a tentimeter. It's a thing where you can put a little screwdriver in and you can adjust the time, uh, the timings and that. So, this one is going into our ground. So we push that in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just bend the wire. Just ever so slightly. Like that. Yep. And I'm going to put this here. Just so we can just about see. Right, so that's in there. Um, where did I put my Ubi? There it is. So now we need to put solder on there. Is it on? Yep. That's on. That's good. All right. So that's one. And where did I put my clippers? Oh, they're all the way over there. Hang on a minute, guys. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm now back. We've got a little bit of extra wire hanging out here. So I'm just going to clip that off. Now, the wire is still moving, which tells me that it's not fully on yet. So let's heat up this solder a bit more. Now the wire's not moving. Okay, so that's that one. And then we're gonna do the same with out. Did I just do that wrong? Okay, this is now our, our ground. God's sake, there's me trying to show you what to do and I go and do it wrong. Ugh, bloody normal. What? I don't need. I've dropped the wire as well. God's sake. Quick googly moogly! Right. So, on this one, we are going to put our. This is going to now be our positive. So, we just have to remember that one. 
Right, so again, I'm just going to bend the wire. Hold on to that there. And then I'm going to sell the. Now that you don't want to get this onto any part of the other, the other bit at all, the solder. Okay, you do not want to do that. There we go. Right, so I can now just get rid of that little bit of extra wire sticking out there. Like that. So that's now both our positive and negatives attached. Right, let's twist this back over. Because now we want to put in the 33k resistors, which are, as we found out, these ones. So what I'm going to need is my tweezers. And with my tweezers, here. I'm going to get right down close, as close as I can, and basically just bend that. Okay. And we could do the same with this one. Get it fairly close, and just bend, because that's going to keep everything all nice and neat, basically. Okay. And we're going to put. one in there and I'm just gonna bend the wire one of the wires slightly so it doesn't fall out and we do the same with the other one I mean this is all part of the original series enterprise because obviously I'm going to be using these in it but then saying that I'm the when the other ones come from China by the time I get to put these in they might be better because I might be able to control the timing more. So the 33k goes in there and I'm just going to bend one leg up. Turn it over. Actually you don't need to bend. Actually I'm going to bend both those legs over like that. Okay, where's my solder gone? There it is. So now we are going to solder those on. <clears throat> yes. Come on. One bit done. Do the other side. So that's that. This isn't great if you haven't got the eyes for it. Come on. There we go. So let's heat this up a little bit. No, that's gone on the side. There we go. And there. Uh, 
Okay, so we got those in. So let's now trim those off. Now I watched somebody keep these. <clears throat> these these legs that you take off your resistors and and off your LEDs. Just because if you're doing your your own circuit board, I mean this is already pre-printed circuit board. But if you're doing your own circuit board, you can use these to bridge over different things. So always keep those because they will come in handy. Right. <clears throat> so we now have the 33k resistors in. Not very well, and I know, but they're they're in. Right, so now what we need to do is put the 510 resistors in. Which again is pretty much exactly the same as what we've done before. Just bend over the legs. Get them over there. those in there and bend the legs out <coughs> to help keep it in place because we want to try and keep things neatish if at all possible and we'll do the same here This is what we've got so far. Where where is it? There it is. You gonna? There we go. And this is what we're doing right now. So these are the two resistors we've just put in. Okay, these are the the other two we've just done. We've got those here. So we need to solder those in. to heat it up a little bit extremely finicky this is Come on, don't move. Okay. Final one. I, mean, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. I could be doing this all completely wrong.
This is not working for me at all. I don't know why. Come on. There. Finally. Right. Okay. So now we can trim those legs off. Uh, this is probably going to be quite a long video because obviously new stuff um don't know what i'm doing yep right then so next we want to put in these so this is the the as i said that's the negative side so i'm going to put that in the negative terminal one there and again I'm just going to bend the legs over to help hold it into place and do the same with this side I mean I'm guessing that's that, that is the case that's what it means like because that's got the um, the minus on there so I'm guessing <laughs> I'm just guessing that that's what that that is I don't really know <clears throat> it looks like it is all right so let's heat this bad boy up and then get to soldering It's really, really awkward to to do as well. So that's that one done there. Let's do this one here. Heat you up a bit. You're stuck on that, come on. Unstick. I've got a bit of solder somewhere else, I don't want that. Okay, I'll have to deal with that. Come on. Alright. Oh no, I didn't. That's supposed to be there. <laughs> To make sure these are all done correctly. Yeah, and just see the last of the water. There. Okay. Right, so that's those done. So again, we just snip these away all right 
Right, so last but not least, we've got the capacitors to do. Um, what I believe are these guys. So we want to keep the flat end going in, so let's open up these other legs here. So we are able to push them down. Now that is, they're not going to go all the way down, so don't try and force them. And I'm just going to bend the legs like that, as normal. Okay, and then it's trying to figure out which is the plus and the minus for the um, for the LEDs over this side because I'm not entirely sure which is which. I'm going to have to look it up on online before I continue, and then I'll tell you you guys. So I'll lock that up in a second. But let me just put these these in. Luckily, they're all the same. Come, get in there. No, in there. There you go. That's the ticket, buddy. Right. So put you down, put down a little bit, and then just pull out there. Okay. So um, let's have a quick look online now. Um, let's have a look. Let's see if I can see where they're going in. Um, can I see you? No, how about... Yeah, because it's not giving me a plus or a minus. Right here. No, same there. It's not. I'm trying to look up different images of the of LED circuit boards to see if there's anything on there. Um, but it doesn't look like I can find one just yet. But I'm, I will do soon. Just got to find one. Um. Well, actually, the other LED boards are actually showing like the plus and the minus. This, the the one I've got, isn't. Um, LED circuit board symbol. Let's look at that. Right. Okay. So, let's have a look at this circuit board again, shall we? Right, so this is the symbol. Where's, where's a pointy? Where's my pointy stick? Here we go. So obviously this is the symbol for an LED. Okay? And look, I've looked online, so I now know what, what I'm going to be talking about. So let's get that into focus. No, I said get that into focus. No, this into focus. This. This. Here we go. Right. So... Come on. There we go. So, this is the, the symbol for the LED. This hole here, where this triangle is, the bottom of the triangle, that's your positive. Here, the one with this line, that's your negative. Okay? So that's relatively easy to remember. Now I know. <laughs> I know what they are. I know what this symbol means. I know what, what I'm, what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so I just thought I'd let share with you guys what what that was that I've just just learnt. Because I say I'm I'm learning this just as much as you guys are learning with me. This is all new to me. I've never done anything like like this before. I mean, I've, what I've done in Voyager, which is now complete, by the way. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but she's complete. Um, what I've done in Voyager, that was a kit, all pretty much all done. And I'm not, I haven't didn't go to this extent to put this amount of lighting or anything in so it's like this is all new come on off of there Okay, do that 
way. Now, as I say, you want to try and make sure you're not touching any other parts of the, the circuit board with your, your solder. Because you're basically, what you'll do, you'll create a short circuit. And that is bad news. Come on. is moving. Don't move. Thank you. Okay. And now this one. to do this is going to be a very boring episode I do apologize but as I say it's this is something that if you're going to be lighting model kits you need to learn learn to do ouch this is getting very warm come on take it Take it like you mean it. There we go. Need it there. Come on. You'll tell when it's made a, a good connection because it got a, a nice shine to it and it's not dull. So if something's dull, it hasn't made a proper connection. There we go, that's better. Right, and now we clip those wires. And even these small ones keep as well. And it just so happens I've got a nice little handy bag for it. Okay, right. So that is pretty much our circuit board all done. So now I'm going to do a couple of wires for the LEDs. And obviously I have to remember which one's the positive, which one's the negative, because obviously I've done it differently. Because I'm an idiot. Um, or, can I try... Let's, let's try doing this. Let's see if I can do it this way just to test them and see what kind of flashing I'm getting. So if I bend those over, I might be able to get, they should be touching just enough. So I can see which is which. So I can see what the type of flashing they they're going to be doing. All right, 
let's have a look. So, let's get our battery over here. Let's put our negative to negative here. Okay, positive to our positive over here. Oops, and I've just thrown an LED on the floor. Of course I have. Okay. Then we're going to grab that LED. Let's see if this works. There we go, it does. Ish. There we go. That's actually not too bad. And they are flashing at different times. So in theory, like I could have the, the top one, the saucer section on one where it's flashing and then the bottom one I want flashing at a different on the, the bottom end of the hull flashing at a different th thingy yeah so th that's actually not too bad Look, we, we've done it we've done it we have done it we have achieved success I can't believe I've done that <laughs> we have created our very own flashing circuit Look at that guy, look, just look at that, look, just, just, just. Now obviously it, it's looking like it won't flash if the other one's not hooked up. So they both need to be hooked up for it to flash. But we've done it. We have created our own flashing circuit. I mean obviously I'm not going to have the LEDs in there. I mean I will keep the LEDs on. Just because they can be, they'll be useful. But there you go. <clears throat> that is our flashing circuit. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully, once we get things all, once I start doing the lights in the in the in the the saucer section and everything like that, we can attach these and see how it goes. This is not going to be attached inside never 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 attach um, anything like this inside your model kit I mean you can but this is going to be attached somewhere outside of it be the reason being if any of these components go wrong you want to replace it and if it's inside your model kit you're going to have to disassemble your model kit just to put these on just to change this we, we don't, you don't want to do that you really don't want to do that. Oh, excuse me. So, guys, there you go. What do you think about that? That's absolutely brilliant, that is. I love it. So, anyway, I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's a fairly long one. Uh, it's about 40 odd minutes. I'm not going to cut anything out except me walking around, moving out of the way and stuff. They'll be cut. But the actual doing this, I am not going to cut at all because it's it's something that is, is good to know it's good to learn so guys as i said thanks very much for watching i look forward to seeing you in the next one you take care of yourselves bye bye now